Berlin played an important part in my life. My father was a Jew from Vienna and my mother was a Prussian Christian. A wonderful mixture. We had to adapt to a war economy. The Jews had been pushed out of economic activity from the 8th of November 1938. Jews had to wear the yellow star. I wore it with pride. We were told the Jews were sent on the transports to go to work. But old people making munitions. It was clear the truth wasn't being told. I watched as they were forced into the trucks at Grunewald train station. I thought, that's not for me. It would be the end of me. My death, to wrench me out of an intact family into a strange country. And I decided I'm staying here. I had a lot of poor non-Jewish friends. None of them Nazis. All lived around the Grosser Hamburger Street and Alexanderplatz. That was later the center of illegality. I no longer had a Jewish pass, a yellow star, no apartment, no ration cards. Officially, I was dead. I didn't exist. Daily, always new things. Where do I go this evening? A terrible rain. I didn't even have a raincoat. How do you live illegally? You don't live. To add to the problems of illegality, you had the problem of the bombings, which affected us every day. And you were in the cellar, and boys were with girls, and it was hair-raising, never-ending. And they were all young people. The fear transformed into romantic feelings. Love. And for me, it was no question. I had the greatest love of my life at that time. If I hadn't had this love, in spite of the bombs and being surrounded by the Gestapo, if I hadn't had the nights in love with my boyfriend, guaranteed I wouldn't have survived. An dieser Stelle befand sich das erste Altersheim der jüdischen Gemeinde. Es war ein Altersheim für Arme. 1942 verwandelte die Gestapo es in ein Sammellager für jüdische Bürger. 55.000 Berliner Juden, vom Säugling bis zum Greis, wurden in die KZ-Lager Auschwitz und Theresienstadt verschleppt und bestialisch ermordet. Vergesst das nie. Bewehret den Krieg. Hütet den Frieden.